Well, there's new information tonight in the deadly plane crash out of Barrow County. Investigators tell us it was a man and his nephew who died in the fiery crash just after they took off. Tonight, investigators are working to track down the maintenance records for their plane. Fox News Angelic Proctor has been following this story and joins us now live from Barrow County tonight. Angelique? Investigators spent eight long hours poring over the wreckage here of this uh, deadly plane crash. We did learn today that although the aircraft was built in 1973, it was a new purchase for the victims earlier this month. We watched the National Transportation Safety Board hoist the nose and tail of the Beechcraft C-23 from the crash site to a wrecker. We now know Dekula pilot Shannon Ewing and his nephew Henry Ewing took off from the Barrow County Airport at 745 Thursday afternoon. Several people watched the plane go up. Witnesses state that it took off, and at that point, we don't have any other witness statements at this time as to what the aircraft was observed to do. Minutes, if not seconds later, the aircraft came down parallel to runway 13, struck several trees, broke into several pieces, and started a small fire. Four investigators from the NTSB are taking a closer look at Thursday's weather conditions. Right now, that's something we're looking at right now with the National Weather Service. We do know that there was clear daylight conditions at the time that the accident occurred. However, we're not sure right now about the winds, and that's something they're looking for us for. Federal investigators tell us the afternoon takeoff was the Ewing second of the day. They had successfully flown the single-engine aircraft earlier on Thursday. Investigators say the aircraft was built in 1973. They are trying to track down maintenance records on the four-passenger plane. So one of the things that we're doing right now is we're retrieving the maintenance records. We do know that the aircraft was recently sold uh, beginning of February to one of the occupants on board the aircraft, along with a partner. As air traffic resumed Friday, many were still thinking of the Ewings, whose lives were so tragically lost here the day before. Well, we'd like to offer our condolences to the friends and family of the victims of this tragic accident. Now, investigators say they hope to have a report, a preliminary report, that is, about what happened here within the next 10 to 15 days. Reporting live in Barrow County, Angelique Proctor, Fox 5 News. All right, thanks, Angelique.